I'd like to say good morning to the Hillington Village community. We are here on behalf of the Livestock Apostolic Church in Hueytown, Alabama. When the Pastor High Call Bush third well, temporary place of worship is the Brook Lane Community Center, 2501 Brook Lane Drive, Hueytown, Alabama, 35023. That's the Brook Lane Community Center, 2501 Brook Lane Drive, Hueytown, Alabama, 35023. And I'm Elder Jeffrey Keller Sr. And we're going to go before the Lord in prayer with Dick and Laurent. Thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you today, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we come to you, Lord God, as humble as we know how, Lord God, telling you thank you, Jesus. Lord God, thank you for a beautiful day we see on today, Lord God, and a day we never will see again. Lord God, I repent of sin, Lord God. Lord God, sins of omission as well as sins of commission, Lord God. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, for each and everything that I've done, Lord God, that's unlike you, Lord God. Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that your will be done, that your name be glorified, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we're praying for your spirit to move, Lord God. Lord God, we're praying that the will of God be done, Lord God, all over this place today, Lord God. Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that your will be done, Lord God. We know that the will of God is that all men be saved, Lord God. So use us, Lord God. We want to be used, Lord God, to bring people, Lord God, to your kingdom, Jesus. Lord God, use us in each and every way you see fit, Lord God. I'm praying that souls are saved, Lord God. Lord God, you've done so much for me, Lord God, so I can't keep the goodness of the Lord to myself, Lord God. So I thank you, Lord God, for, Lord God, flipping me around, Lord God. Lord God, I know what you've done for me, Lord God. You can do for us. Others, Lord God. Lord God, I'm, I thank you, Jesus, for each and everything you've done, Lord God. Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that people, Lord God, open up their ears, Lord God, and receive you, Lord God, that they're hearken their hearts, Lord God. I'm praying that souls are pricked on today, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that we love, Lord God. Lord God, because if we don't know love, we don't know you, Lord God. In this wicked and perverse generation, I'm praying, Lord God, that souls are saved, Lord God, that we open our eyes and hear, Lord God. You say, he who have ears, let him hear, Lord God. And Lord God, help us not to be only hearers of the word of God, but Lord God, doers of the word of God, Lord God. Because if we love you, Lord God, we are keep our, your commandments, Lord Jesus. So help us to take your word, Lord God, and hide it in our heart that we sin not against you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we want to be found holy in all manner of conversation, Lord God. We want to be holy in our thinking, Lord God. We want to think like you, Lord God. We want to walk like you, Lord Jesus. We want to talk like you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, in order for us to do those things, the Holy Ghost has to enter in. So, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, that souls, Lord God, repent. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues, that's the spirit of God give utterance. Lord God, 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 give utterance on today, Lord God. Move by your spirit and your spirit alone, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we need you, Lord God, in this community, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that souls are pricked, Lord God. Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, that our family and our friends, Lord God, are pricked, Lord God. Help us to live our life in such a way, Lord God, that we be found holy, Lord God, when nobody's watching, Lord God. I'm praying that we be holy, Lord God, when people are watching, Lord God. I'm praying that we present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God because it's our reasonable service. Help us not to be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. We're praying for newness and thinking, Lord God, that we get away from the ways of the world, Lord God, that we follow after you, Lord God. Lord God, we know light and darkness cannot dwell together. Lord God, help us to set our hopes, Lord God, our affection on things above, Lord God, and not things beneath, Lord God. We want to set our hopes on things eternal, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, you're eternal. Lord God, you're everlasting, you're Apple and Omega, you're the beginning and the end, Lord God. You exist in and out of time, Lord God. Help us to set our hope and our affection on you, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, your word says that the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man are better much. Oh, Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that souls are saved on today, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that we be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Oh, Lord God, we're praying that we're anchored in you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord God, that when the trials of this world, Lord God, come crashing down on us, Lord God, that we trust and believe in you, Lord God. Lord God, that when we have more bills than we have money, Lord God, that we trust in you, Lord God, that when friends turn their back on us, Lord God, you're the ultimate friend, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, you said we're no longer servants, Lord God, but you call us friends, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, you say he who the son set free, Lord God, is free indeed, Lord God. You 
said, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There's freedom where you are, Lord God. You said you inhabit the praises of your people. Lord God, we praise. We lift you up on today, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for each and everything you've done for us, Lord God. We thank you for things, Lord God, that are to come, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, that you're going to bring us through, Lord God. We thank you for the strength to go through, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the strength, Lord God, that you've given us, Lord God, to beat things and pass, Lord God. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, I'm praying that you move by your spirit and your spirit alone. Oh, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, that you move, Lord God, like only you can, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that we open our eyes, Lord God. Lord God, with our spiritual eyes and we see you, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, that we open our ears, Lord God, and we hear you, Lord God. Lord God, help us to be slow to anger. Lord God, and quick to forgive. Help us to be quick to hear, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we're praying that your will be done. That your name be glorified. We're praying, Lord God, that souls are saved, Lord God. We're praying, Lord God, that we show a pattern of good works, Lord God, that we have sound speech, Lord God. We're praying, Lord God, that we live our lives right, Lord God, before you, Lord God, before men, Lord God. Lord God, we're praying, Lord God, that the parents train up their children in the way they should go so when they grow old, they won't depart from it, Lord God. We're praying that your will be done, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, it is your will that all men be saved. Lord God, we thank you for each and everything you're doing, Lord God. We thank you for what you've done, Lord God, and what you're going to do, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, that you move by your spirit and your spirit alone. Lord God, not just in my household, but in each and every household, Lord God. I'm praying for the marriages, Lord God. Lord God, that we be a threefold cord in you, Lord God, because a threefold cord is not easily broken. With you being the head, Lord God. Lord God, I'm praying the husbands rule the households well, Lord God. Lord God, trusting in you to lead in God, Lord God. I'm praying that souls are pricked, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that we follow after you, Lord God. Help us to dwell according to knowledge. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for each and everything you're doing. We bless you for what you've done, Lord God. We magnify you. We lift you up today, Lord God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You said that we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. You said not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, thus saith the Lord. Move by your spirit and your spirit alone. Oh, Lord God, we bless you today. Oh, Lord God, we honor you today. We thank you for all things. We love you for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for the blessing of your word. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Father, we enter into prayer in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blessing of your name, the authority of your name. And Father, we exalt that name out here today in the Illinois Village community, in our houses. We exalt in the name of Jesus. We exalt in the name of Jesus. The portion of scripture that we're going to is Psalm 69. Focus verse of the 18th verse. And it's verses 16 through 18 that I'll be reading to you here. Psalm 69. Focus verse 18. Verses 16 through 18. In the thought, asking for a speedy deliverance. See, that's what we're asking the Lord for this morning. A speedy deliverance. Deliverance is he delivers and sets free. He delivers your soul. We focus on salvation this morning. He that wins of souls is wise. And the one that wins a soul is the Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks where your treasure is. Your heart is also out of your belly going to flow rivers of living water because you hide the word of God in your heart. Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Starting with the 16th verse, I pray that we hear the word. We want to be hearers and doers of his word. It says, hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Who I here know that he is a merciful God. He showed you mercy, so you got to show others mercy. He's a merciful God. The Lord be magnified. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure for all generations. And in that 70 verse, he said, Hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. See, sometimes you get in trouble. But the name that you got to call on is Jesus. The person that you got to call on is Jesus. Father, I call on that name because I want people delivered and set free. I want them to have the Holy Ghost that is talking about in the Word of God. Acts 1 and 8 say, after you receive the Holy Ghost, the power will come. But what you got to do, you got to seek God diligently. 
It says, seek your kingdom first, and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. I hear the scripture saying, our God will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. We can have all things through Christ that strengthens us. And you got to know this, he that begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. I thank him for his blessing the day that I know his word. I continue to ask him for an increase of faith, Father, so that I can get understanding and the revelation of your word. The only way I will get the revelation and understanding of your word if I got the Bible, Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you for your word this morning. In the 18 verses, it said, draw nigh unto my soul. See, what you wanted your soul say. See, you want him to help, uh, take, take over, take over your soul. Romans 8 to 8 says, all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. Father, we got to be focused, focused on that we want our houses delivered. We want to be delivered and we want our houses delivered. We want to be delivered and we want our houses delivered and set free. It said, deliver me because of my enemies. I'm speaking the heritage of the servant. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. And any tongue that rise up against me shall be condemned. And the scripture said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He took me out of the snare of the enemy. I was trapped. I was in trouble. But I called on the name Jesus. And he filled me full of the Bible Holy Ghost. I'm sounding the trumpet. The kingdom of God is at hand. And you have to repent. I give him the glory for my house. I give him the glory for me. I give him the glory for my blessing. The blessing of the Lord and make a rich and out of no sorrow. We have never seen the righteous forsaken or in seed begging bread. I know his word to be true. Strong definition and he redeemed. Comes from the Hebrew 13, 50. An adventure. Deliver. Do. Perform. Depart of near. Next. Kinsfolk. Purchase. Ransom. Redeemer, revenger. Vengeance is not yours, saith the Lord. See, we've got to love our neighbors as we Jesus, knowing who our God and our Lord is. He's the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Every knee gonna bow and every tongue has to confess that He's the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You gotta proclaim and proclaim the name Jesus this morning. You gotta proclaim and profess the name Jesus. And then do it when it comes down. It's an action for a speed of deliverance. See, you got to ask the Lord to deliver you in prayer. Father, we need your help this morning. Father, we have many thoughts on our mind. Cast down our imagination, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Put our thought into the beat of the cry of the Father so that our prayers won't be hindered. I don't want my prayers hindered. Psalm 66, 18 say, if I hold iniquity in my heart, God won't hear me. Father, I want to be in a place, Father. I want my posture to where you can hear me. Father, I thank you for your blessing today that you heard me in your confirmation. Father, you put your prayer in. You ordered my prayer this morning. Father, that's how I got my help for my house. That's how I'm going to get my help to preach the word. That's how I'm going to get my help to teach the word. Father, because of you, because of what you've done in my life. It's a train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he won't depart from it. The one that you won't depart from is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's his compassion. It's unconditional love. Father, I'm putting my trust in you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. We can not until our understanding all the ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. I'm doing everything I can to acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I won't uh, understand his word. Romans 10, 17 said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It said, do not hide your face from your servant for I am in trouble. See, you got to understand that you're in trouble. The devil coming to kill, steal, and destroy and seeking whom he may devour. It don't matter if you make your declaration that you're going to be in the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. It don't matter if you say you ain't going to be no part of it. You're going to have to. The devil still ain't going to leave you alone. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be ye not conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. You can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And I'm praying, Father, oh, God, to pass away. Behold, all things are new. we new creatures. we new creatures that pray. we new creatures that pray. Jesus said, pray our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive. Our debtors, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil for thine of the kingdom power and the glory for him and I. But we got to give him the glory. We got to seek the kingdom. Seek ye the kingdom first. This is what it said by presenting himself to God as a servant and in trust you as servant. Do you take the authority of the word? Do you believe that his promises are true? My God, I thank you for the promise, Father. I thank you for blessing me. I thank you for building my household up according to your word. Father, that's what I said. Second Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved of work. need to not be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. David hoped to appeal to God, compassion, because he's a merciful God. He's a merciful God. Somebody needs to know that this morning. He's a merciful God, and we asking him for help in prayer. Ask him for speedy deliverance. See, we want to be delivered and set free. It said, draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. The only one that can redeem your soul is the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to Psalm 10. Focus verses, the first verse. And the question that is asked in this chapter is, why do you hide yourself? And it's a question. Why do you hide yourself? It said, why standest thou a far off, O Lord? Why hidest thyself in times of trouble? What you hiding yourself for? What you hiding yourself for? It said, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. It said, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. See, they're going to be taken in the devices that they thought about. Father, I thank you for the blessing of your word and the understanding of your word. It's for the wicked boast up, and that's an ETH because they keep talking about what they're going to do, what they thought, what they think. Oh, his heart's desire and blessing, the covenants whom the Lord abhors. See, he don't like covenant. He don't like you thinking that you know everything and got everything. Father, I thank you for your blessing today. Listen to what it said. It said the wicked through the pride of his country, see it'll show in your face that you're powerful. It said we'll not seek after God. God is not in all their thoughts. They ain't even thinking about God. They're thinking about what they can do. Father, but I thank you for your blessing. Father, you slowed me down. Slow down. Make sound decisions. Do things decent in order. Study to be quiet. Agree to disagree. And obey those that hold up rule over. Father, you put the discipline in me. I thank you for the blessing. It's an answer for speedy deliverance. Go up into Psalm 22 and 1. And I thank him for the blessing of his word. Father, continue to listen. Give us instruction. Of your word. Father, we need help this morning. Starting with the first verse. It said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And it's a question. Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Oh, my God, I cry in the daytime. So you got to pray in the daytime. You got to pray in the nighttime. You got to pray in the wee hours. Father, we need your help this morning. Said, but thou hear us not, and in the night season, and I'm not silent. See, because you got iniquity in your heart. He ain't hurt you. Father, but we need help. Father, we want to get the sinful thoughts and actions that we ain't acted on out of the way, Father, because we don't want our prayers hindered. We want our marriages blessed. We want our families blessed. Father, we want the church blessed. Father, we got to do things according to your word. Listen to what it says in that same portion of scripture, the 19th verse, verse 19 to 21, and the 22nd Psalm. It said, but be not thou far from us. See, he ain't far from you. The scripture said, God is with you. He's Emmanuel, God with us. See, you got to understand he's with you, with us wherever you go. He said, oh, my strength, haste thee to help me. See, he's coming to you quickly. Are you ready for him coming? Are you ready for his presence? Are you ready for him to bless you? Father, equip me with the provision that I need and show me how to use him the correct way. Father, not just give me the blessing, but I need you to help me, equip me with the mindset that I can use these blessings the right way. It says, deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. It says, save me from the lion mouth, but thou hast heard me from the horn of the unicorn. Listen to what it says. Listen to what it says. It says, for thou hast saved me. He saved you. He delivered and set you free. He delivered and set you free. Now, what you going to do for him? What you going to do for him? He delivered and set you free. So what you going to do for him? It's a plea for help and deliverance. Lord, help me get down. Father, help me in my house. Father, help me make the right decision. Listen to what it says in Jeremiah 14. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give an expected end. And you got to know. 
But under the shadow of a doubt, his expected end for you is good. Somebody needs to know that his expected end for us is good this morning. Father, thank you for your blessing and going out before us. Father, moving anything that's out of you out of the way. We're going to have good today because your word says. This is what it says, Jeremiah 14 and 8, verse 7 through 9. It said, O Lord, though our iniquities testify against us. It said, do thy it for thy namesake. See, just for the namesake. You got to take on the namesake for our backsliders are many. We have sinned against thee. See, you got to understand you can't lie to yourself. You don't lie to yourself. Father, we need help in this area. Father, I don't want to be a backslider according to what the scripture said. It said, oh, the hope of Israel, the savior thereof in time of trouble. Why shouldst thou be as a stranger in the land? If you, if you don't, if you don't slow down, if you don't ask God for help, if you try to help it yourself, you're going to be in trouble. It said it has a wayfaring man that turned up aside his hair for a night. See, you wait, but you ain't waiting on the Lord. You waiting, but you ain't waiting on the Lord. You asking your own questions. It said, why shouldst thou be as a man of stunning? See, you confused. You are stunning as a mighty man that cannot say. You can't say nobody. You can't control what comes in. You can't control what goes out. But Father, I need your help with what I got. Father, I need your help with these simple things. You're a God of simplicity. I thank you for your word. It said, why shouldst thou be as a man of stunning, as mighty man that cannot say? Yet thou, Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by the name leave us not father don't leave us we want to stay we want to be calling on your name father we want to be exalting your name father because we love you because you saved us father because you delivered us you're not through with us yet the perfect gifts come from above father we focused on having the thing father give me a prayer to be able to help my family father give me a word father to be able to equip somebody with the faith that is talked about in these scriptures father i love you this morning i love you this morning i love you this morning that's why i'm in your word that i gotta get the help that i need father i want to know your love better i thank you this morning father for the power of your word listen to what it says in psalm 31 the fifth verse, verse 5 through 8. It said, In to thine hand I commit my spirit. I hear the scripture saying, Godless sorrow, work of repentance and salvation. And Psalm 37 and 5 said, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Do you believe that he's going to bring it to pass? That you're going to be delivered and set free? It said, Thou hast redeemed me. He got, you got to know that the Lord has set you free. You got to know that he redeemed you. It said, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He took you out of the snare of the enemy. That's why I'm here because he took me out of the trap. He got my mind fixed. Father, I thank you this morning. Father, that I'm able to speak your word, Father. The devil came and the fear has to go in Jesus' mighty name. I'm confident and bold because he trained me up. Father, I thank you this morning for your love. And so I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. See, you got to make your declaration. I trust in the Lord. Regardless of what I'm going through, I'm going to trust him. Oh God, regardless of what I'm going to deal with this day, I trust him. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. See, if you never had his mercy, how can you rejoice? It's for thou has considered my trouble. Thou has known my soul and adversities. And has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. He ain't shut you up in the hand of the enemy. You still walking, you still breathing. And I have set my feet in a large room because you still got time. Father, we still alive. Father, we can be a living sacrifice. Father, we can, oh God, we can pray according to your word. Father, oh God, we can study your word. Father, I thank you for your truth. Father, that I got the understanding of your word. I can be a help to somebody. Listen to what it says in Psalm 111. Psalm 111. And the ninth verse, verse 7 through 9. It said, the works of his hands are verity and judgment. See, he righteous God, he judges. It said, all his commandments are sure. Do you believe it? Or do you believe that the word of God is true? It said, they stand fast forever and ever are done in truth and uprightness. Because his word finishes what it starts. I don't know about you, but I want to keep his word hidden in my heart that I sin not against him. It said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all they that do his commandments, his prayers have endured forever. Father, I'm going to praise you to the day I leave here. I'm going to praise you when I leave here. I'm going to praise you the day I'm here. I'm going to praise you when I leave here. I thank you for the blessing of your word. I thank you for your help this morning. It's in the nature of God's great work asking for a spirit of delivery. You got to know what you're asking for. You got to know what you're asking God for this morning. Father, I need to be delivered and set free. Father, I need help in my house. Father, I need resources, Father, to take care of my house. Father, I need help with my marriage. Father, you got to know what you're asking for. He said, make your supplication or your request known. 
Father, the last portion of the scripture that I'm leaving you with is John 6, 6 and 23. Father, I thank you for your word. Job the sixth chapter, focus verses 23. And I read 14 through 23. Afflicted, pity should be shown from his friend. Psalm 34, 19 said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. It said, But he forsaketh the fear of the Almighty. It said, My brethren have dealt deceitfully as a brook, and as the stream of brooks they pass away. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name, and any tongue that rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Father, you equip me with the word. I know how to speak the word, Father. I have understanding of your word, which are blackest by reason of the eyes and when the snow is here. It said, what time they wax warm, they vanish. When it is hot, they are consumed out of their place. The wicked, you ain't going to have a chance. You ain't going to stay in your place. You ain't going to keep hurting people because the God want us blessed. God want us better. Romans 8, 31 said, God be for you. Who can be against you? Who the son says free is free indeed. Are you free? Are you free in your mind yet because you filled your mind full of the word are you free in your belly because out of your belly gonna flow rivers of living water they said the paths of their way are turned aside they go to nothing in peril they said the truth of Tim are look the compass of sheep are waiting for them so you got to be patient and wait on the Lord you got to be patient and wait on the Lord tribulation words patient patient to experience and experience hope they said they were confounded see they're gonna be confused the enemy gonna be confused because they had hope 
They came together and were ashamed because you didn't get hurt. You didn't fall. You didn't lose. Father, I thank you for your help, Father. They are confused. Father, you keep me moving. You keep me blessed, Father. You keep me trusting you. Oh, God, I thank you this morning. They would have said they're going to be ashamed. For now you are nothing. You see my casting down and are afraid. They said, did I say bring unto me or give a reward? For me or your substance. See, he didn't even ask you for nothing. But out of gratitude, you should give him something. You should give him praise. You should pray. You should study his word. Father, I need a hundred thirst of your words so I can bless you, Father. Father, I need a hundred thirst of your word, Father, that I can help this community. Father, I need a hundred thirst of your word, Father, so we can glorify and magnify you. Father, I surrender my will, Father, so that we can pray, so that we can bless you, so that this community can be blessed, so that the church can be blessed. Asking for a spirit of deliverance, he delivers you. You're going to know his confirmation is that you're going to be blessed. You're going to be walking in blessed, walking out blessed. Listen to what the scripture says. Listen to what the scripture says. Ask him for a speedy deliverance. It says, oh, deliver me from the enemy's hand. I redeem me from the hand of the mighty. In that 24 verses, to teach me and I will hold my tongue and cause me to understand where in I have air. See, I don't have to say everything I want to say. Father, the scripture tell me that you'll give me what I need at the hour I need it. Father, I need your help with this prayer. Father, you know what, I'm, what I really have on my heart. Father, you know what's in my mind. I need your help with everything. I need you in every area, Father. Help us this morning. Father, I don't want nothing to hinder these prayers. The prayers that I pray for the church. The prayers that I pray for my marriage. Father, the prayers that I've been praying for my brothers to be blessed. Father, that they come into the knowledge of you. The knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The prayers that I pray for my son. Father, that he be blessed. Father, I thank you this morning for the blessing of your word. Father, let me study your word. Give me a word, Father, to be able to help me through this day. Father, to make me stronger. According to Acts 1 and 8, after you receive the Holy Ghost, the power go. See, Kataba. Prophecy builds up the church. See, Kataba. According to your word. Father, we need your help this morning. This community is going to be blessed because we got a hold of your word. Father, this community is going to be blessed because we got a hold of your word. Father, the life called Apostolic Church, bringing people to Jesus Christ and so, the strength of God love is we mature to Christ's light that we grow in, to Christ, to be godly examples. Men of God standing on your word, in the instruction, and we're going to do what the word says is pray. Thank you for the blessing of your word. Thank you for your time. And we're going to have a blessed rest of the day in the powerful name of Jesus.